Tara. Does he look nervous to you? constantly created as marriages take place. If this is so, then tonight we witness the birth of a new world in the marriage of Tina and Tony, who will now enter into their new world. Though after hearing what each of them said, I only can wonder what kind of world that may be. <laughs> Tony, Tina wants you to know that she loves to travel. She's hoping for a husband who's well settled in his life, <laughs> successful, and who has the time and the means to travel the world with her. She doesn't want any children, and she definitely wants to be the main focus of your life. Tina, Tony wants you to know that he's a server at a bar. He has very little money, <laughs> and he doesn't feel that he needs much. His passion is his car and working out at the gym. And all his finances go into this. He's hoping for a wife, which would be you, who's a muscular bodybuilder, <laughs> someone who can lift weights equal to him, and someone who can challenge him at arm wrestling. He wants a big, big family, five or six children, though how he's going to support them is a mystery to me. He hates heights, doesn't fly, so any traveling you may do will have to be in a car, presumably his, into which most of his limited funds go. I'd sure like to meet the matchmaker who put these two together. Okay, I'm sure the two of you will work this out, and if not, I know a great marriage counselor. So marriage is spoken of as the joining of hands. Would the two of you please join hands? Well, not exactly that, Tony. And look at each other's hands and see the gift that they are to you. Tina, these are the hands, often covered with grease, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as Tony promises to love you for all the days of his life. And these are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you for a lifetime, although not quite as much as his car. These are the hands that will share with you the, what, the joys of watching those five or six children which you will refuse to have, grow through the years. And these are the hands that will hold yours as you continue this journey, rough and rocky, I predict it may be, together. Tony, these are the hands, beautiful, well manicured, and hoping to hold a very big diamond, holding yours on your wedding day, as Tina promises to love you for all the days of her life. And these are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you for a lifetime. These are the hands that will definitely not share the joys with you of changing diapers or chasing toddlers around the house. And they will not share any time at the gym 
or arm wrestle under any circumstances. These are the hands that will most probably wave goodbye to you at the airport as she goes off on her journey. May these hands be blessed by occasionally touching each other and may some tiny bit of connection be yours. And now I'm going to ask you to repeat these vows in front of your family and friends and this horrified audience. <laughs> Tina, do you take this low-income, muscle-building, car-crazy fanatic to be your husband? Tina. 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 I guess. Yes. <laughs> Tony, do you take this materialistic, adventure-seeking woman who wishes not to procreate to be your wife? I, uh, I guess I can work with it. So, do you have some rings for me? Oh my. No, you can give them both tonight. Okay. So, Tony, would you put this hideous, <laughs> truly hideous, an exceedingly cheap ring on Tina's finger and repeat after me? Tina, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And with, and, with, and with it, I promise. I promise. You shall never fly alone. You should never fly alone. That you should never fly alone. Tina, would you take this ring? Tony, I give you this ring. It's on the wrong hand. doesn't fit, try the pinky. <laughs> okay. Tony, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And with it, I give you my promise that you will always go to the gym. So, is there anyone here who thinks that in any way this marriage is going to work? No. So then I'm going to invite you all to join me in this pronouncement because I don't want to be the only crazy one that actually pronounces them. So would you all repeat after me? Tina and Tony? Tina and Tony. It is our great joy. It is our great joy. To pronounce you. To pronounce you. Husband and wife. Yeah.